Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing how to connect multiple light switches to a single hot wire. As you can see on this dummy wall, I have a three gang outlet box and three light bulbs. One, two and three. I will show all the connections on this dummy wall. So let's get started. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. This is my three gang outlet box. This is a metal box. In your case, you might be having a plastic one. Metal boxes must be grounded and you can see there are multiple screws inside the box for grounding. This is my incoming power line black hot, white neutral and the ground wire. Because there are multiple black wires here, I have used a small piece of yellow tape to the incoming black hot wire as an indication that this is the incoming power. This 14-2 wire goes to the first light, this 14-2 wire goes to the second light and this 14-2 wire goes to the third light. Because the incoming power is only 15 amperes, when we are connecting multiple switches, we have to make sure that the total load of the lights doesn't exceed 10 or 12 amperes. These switches can be used for pot lights, ceiling fans or simple light bulbs like this. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will be using Leviton Decora type switch. The switch has a self-grounding brass strip at the top. On one side, we have two brass screws. Normally, the incoming black hot wire is connected to the bottom terminal and the upper terminal is connected to the outgoing black load wire and we have a green grounding terminal on the other side. In case you are using a traditional toggle switch, the connections will be similar. The bottom terminal is connected to the incoming black hot wire and the upper terminal is usually connected to the black load wire. This particular switch is a Canadian switch and it, it doesn't have a ground connection. But in your case, the toggle switch you are using may have a ground terminal on this side. I will be using Vago Livernet connectors. In case you don't have Vago Livernet connectors, you can use normal traditional wire nuts. Safety first, we always start with making sure that there is no power in any of the lines, in any of the wires. I will use my client tools touchless voltage tester to check that there is no power. There is no power, so it is safe to proceed. For connecting three single pole switches, I have prepared three black pigtails three green grounding pigtails and because I'm using a metal box, I have an extra black grounding pigtail for the metal box. If you have a plastic outlet box, then you will need only three ground pigtails. I normally use 14 gauge insulated solid copper wire for grounding, but you can use 14 gauge bare copper wire for grounding. I will start with the ground wires first. One ground wire from the first light, one ground wire from the second light, one ground wire from the third light, one ground wire from the incoming power line and one grounding pigtail. Also, I have three grounding pigtails which I will connect to the switches. I will use a 5-pin Vago Levernet connector to connect the ground wires. One. So far, I have connected four ground wires. These three bare copper wires are from uh, the 14 2 wires coming from the lights 1, 2 and 3. The fourth green ground wire is connected to the metal outlet box. I'm using an extra pigtail here to connect the remaining ground wires. I will use one more 5 pin Vago Levernet connector to connect the remaining ground wires. This is my second 5 pin Vago Levernet connector to join the ground wires. A ground pigtail from the other ground wires, bare copper ground wire is from the incoming 14-2 wire and these three pigtails, one for each of the switches, first light switch, second light switch and third light switch. I will now push these ground wires into the box. Next I will connect four white neutral wires, white neutral from incoming 42 wire white neutral from the wire coming from first light, white neutral from the second light and white neutral from the third light. One more 5 pin Vago Levernet connector to join these four white neutral wires. These are my 
four white neutral wires. First from the incoming 14 to wire which brings in power. Second white neutral going to the first light switch. This white neutral is going to the second light and this white neutral is going to the third light. I will push these wires into the box now. Next I will use one more 5 pin Vago 11 nut connector to connect my three black pigtails and the incoming black hot wire. Turn over and always make sure that all the wires have been pushed all the way into the connector. Push that inside. Now these are my three incoming hot wires and these three are the outgoing load wires one to each of the lights and these three are my grounding pigtails. Now I will connect the switches one by one starting with ground wires. This is my load wire for the first light and this is my line wire for the first switch. This one is done. Let me push it aside. Second switch starting with the ground wire. This is my load wire for the second light. This is my line wire for the second switch. Now the third switch starting with the ground wire. The load wire for the third light. The line wire for the third switch. All three switches have been connected. Let's take another look to make sure that no mistakes have been made. Third switch, load wire, correct. Line wire, correct. And the ground wire on this side. Second switch, this is my load wire going to this wire here, to this light. And this is the hot wire. And here I have the ground pigtail. First switch, load wire going to this light. And the incoming hot wire connected to this pigtail. And this pigtail is further connected to the incoming 14 2 wire. All whites have been connected and all these connections are good now. Two or three wraps of black tape around each switch because we have a lot of wires here. I have covered the terminals with black electrical tape to make sure that the hot wire doesn't touch either the ground wires or the metal box. I will now push these wires and switches into the box and tighten the screws. I'll keep them a bit loose for now because I will check their alignment with the wall plate. I will now turn on power and test each of these switches. Power is on. Let's check each of these switches. First light on off, on off. Second light on off, on off. Third light on off, on, 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 off. Off, off. All these lights are working independently. They are all good. Once the testing is done, you can go ahead and install the wall plate. This project is complete now. I hope the video is informative. It is helpful. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. There are several other similar DIY videos on my channel. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, please take care.